Hi everyone, it's Lady Labyrinth here and welcome to my second video of the day. That's right, you heard me, the second video today. I realise I haven't been around much lately and um, I've recently posted a couple of videos from the Rise of the Tomb Raider but I said I'd make it up to you by getting you some uh, extra content out. So today we're going to play the Tomb Raider Last Revelations Gold Level, the Times Exclusive. Let's go explore Tutankhamun's tomb with Lara. The initial discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb. And... This is Howard Carter's original exclusive. But yesterday morning, from our Egyptian correspondent, we received this. Tutankhamun's tomb. New tunnels. I see. I've stayed in bed for less. Our man stumbled across this new dig site. After we received the information, news reached us that he'd been found fever-ridden, hiding nearby, ranting about a new tomb. Now you're getting interesting. Whose tomb? Well, this is why we've called you. I'll see you around. Wait, you'll get nowhere without Carter's original information. He was the first to discover Tutankhamun's tomb and reported exclusively to us. His original chamber layouts and notes lie in the relevant issues in our archive room, invaluable to the Tomb Raider. Quite. And where are these archives? That book is massive. There's no way that's Carter's field journal. Time to finish what Carter started. <laughs> awesome. Now that's how you make an entrance, Lara. Okay, well this is an exciting little level to play. Um, more so at the moment because there are actually supposedly hidden rooms and tunnels in Tutankhamun's room which are currently being explored. Um, now being 2017, it's been going on for I think roughly three years now but um, the Suspicion is that Nefertiti is actually in um, the real Tutankhamun's tomb, which would make a lot of sense because that was um, either his mother or his stepmother, not 100% sure yet. She was the wife of Ankhetin, who was his um, pharaoh before him and his biological father, that has been proved. So uh, that would be very exciting. And we do know that Tutankhamun's tomb was meant for a queen. But that's enough of a history lesson for today. Let's get raiding. Okay, so basically we want to come back up where Lara just came from. Because just up here is a little secret. And we like our secrets. So we get the shotgun and some shotgun shells, which is pretty cool. Now, I will re just remark on this ceiling. This ceiling is absolutely awesome. This, uh, if you create TRLEs, is found with the WAD for this game. You need to download it and then go through your WAD merger via the Tomb Raider level extraction. And uh, you can claim this roof. It is really atmospheric for these levels, so highly recommend that. Okay, let's go through here.
So in here we just got a few little scorpion guys. Oops, stuck on the pillar. I think it's just these four. And let's do a quick run behind these just to see if there's any goodies to pick up. I don't think there are. But I could be wrong. It's always prudent to have a quick run around just to double check. Didn't think there were, but okay. So I love the decoration in this. This is awesome. I know I say that a lot about Tomb Raider levels, but it really helps when the game looks and feels good when you're playing as much as the um, difficulty of the puzzles and the amount of enemies. Um, I know I said it in the previous video, but it really bugs me when people who are obviously good builders just can't be bothered to make decent levels look good. You, know, you see people spam the textures and it's just like, why? Okay, so the reason I jumped up here was to get away from that uh, spiky ball but to also grab some shotgun shells. And then over here we have some Uzi ammo. So now we can go through here. Now, just looking here, you may think that that door ahead of you opens. It doesn't. That is a completely dead door. You'll notice that the tiles here are slightly discoloured. That is a raisable platform and there is a core cool space up there. So that is our initial goal. Now we're going to um, grab the shotgun because one of the things I like about this level is they do utilise these dogs. These dogs that they use for decoration do come alive. So now I think they will in just a moment. Now you'll also notice that there are some lion's heads up here. Now we don't have the revolver or anything but we can still shoot these because these are at shootable height and we just need to get close to them and we can destroy those okay now what that does is that actually allows us access to other parts of the level for a secret now there are some arrows here which indicate that we will get the crossbow and those dogs are still asleep so that's all good and then down here we've just got some shotgun shells and let's light a flare again the large med pack. So what did those lions do? Okay, well if we go down back down here now you'll notice that what they didn't do was raise that platform. So that indicates that what they did was something in this room. Now there is another switch in this room, which if you are a bit eagle eyed you will probably have noticed already, but instead we're going to come over to the golden dude and it actually opened the trap door here. So this is a secret, which I believe there are only two secrets in this level, there are. So this is the second secret. So here, I don't know if you can see that, that's some arrows. And looky here, we've got the little crossbow. So 
So back down this ladder. Now I've watched this level be played live and it is incredibly, incredibly short level. But it can be very frustrating in this point because it is so hard to see what you have to do. And as far as I'm aware, they didn't use this uh, particular switch in the main Tomb Raider levels. This is exclusively to this level and to Tomb Raider level editor. And it's actually this pot. If you notice down here, there's some scrape marks. So we need to call this. We basically need to just put it on this little symbol here. And now we need to grab that shotgun. Where's my shotgun? Where's your shotgun when you need it? There we go. It's fine. We may need to use a med pack in this level and you'll see why later. Ah, don't fall off, Lara. Alright, let's shoot these guys with the pistols. Okay, all the puppies are dead. Lara hates puppies. And let's climb on up here. Now, I'm going to save it. What ammo have we got for this? We have no explosive ammo. Okay. Groovy. So, although there's flames in here, we've got a mummy. We've got another mummy. Okay, now the mummies are up. Okay, but the good news is, is we've got this little ramp here so that we don't really need to worry about them. Okay, but we do need to worry about these guys. So, we just need to wait for them to come a little bit closer. I'm going to have to use a med pack. That is horrific. And they're all dead. And we get the revolver. That's in here. I think I managed to shoot this other one. I did! Look at that, that's awesome. Okay, let's go for a swim. I think I just knocked Lara's teeth out. That's okay. I love this pool, it's very imaginative, and I love the boat in it. So we need to get out of water relatively quickly. Be careful on those torches, because Lara will catch on fire. There we go, so they're all dead. And look at this boat, this is frigging awesome. You can really see that the pharaoh travelled in style. Okay. So the obvious route is up there, but we don't want to go there just yet. There's a couple more things to do in this room now that we killed some crocodiles. Now, it's not very obvious, but this is very similar to a level in Tomb Raider called Sacred Lake, uh, Sacred Lake rather, 
And this is a special underwater switch. These are actually my favourite underwater switches. I think they're awesome. I love the little backflip she does. And then now we can get through that door. And say so just be careful around these torches because if you jump anywhere near them you will go up like a human torch. Okay, and we are going to save it. Now, the grid here should give you a warning of what's in this room. Now, I am going to shoot all of these little vases. But I'm going to start up here. again just be really careful of those torches so we had some revolver ammo and a med pack in here don't think there's another one all right make sure i'm not going to run into a torch okay now the first bars i'm going to shoot out is this one because this allows us to move this And then I'm basically just going to go into um, a circle. But so far I think I've shot all of the vases that you need to shoot. Otherwise, you release the scarabs. Oh no wait, there's one pickup. And the laser sight. I stand corrected. Okay, so we're just going to come stand on the other side of this little grid. And hopefully the scarabs will come and follow us. So that's a nice easy way to get rid of them. This is just basically a pit that they can't climb back out of. So we've just got a few more. Come on, scarabs. There's another one. Stand here for a minute. There he is. He's all by himself, look. Poor little guy. Go join your friends. Let's grab the laser sight and the... Revolver ammo. And then we can get out of here. And there's another little grid there, should you need it. And we've got some more revolver ammo. I don't think there's anything back here. Nope. And we released a scorpion from that one. Let's grab some flares as well. And we will save it again. Because you know I like to save. Now this is what we needed the revolver for. So we're going to combine that with the laser sight and equip that. And I really like the fact that they gave you the two weapons that you can use with the laser sight. Because you don't really get huge amounts of ammo in this game but you don't really need it but just in case you're a bit trigger happy so there's one oh, and two so this is now gonna Let's see if I can take his head off no how about you can I take your head off doesn't look like it. Do I get any explosive ammo? No! What are they playing at? So, dodge this. I know you probably were more worried about the, um... The mummies at the moment, but... Just remember that there's some spike balls coming. You've got these little entryways that you can run and hide in. And thankfully that locks the mummies out. So let's just check the corners of this room. 
So this looks to be quite filled with treasure. So it looks like Tutankhamun was uh, a little bit cautious about where he kept his stuff. And then we're going to take the mask of Tutankhamun. And we can get out that way. But you notice that one there isn't actually a door. So let's head on. Grab another flare quickly. Okay. So what did we just pick up? We picked up the golden mask, but it's obviously supposed to be the mask of Toon Car Moon. So climb up here and looky looky more scarabs. Yay, what fun. Let's try and kill some of these guys. You basically just run back and forth a little bit. They should all fall down and die. They don't always die. And then just here is a trick door. I think I'm standing the right way. Find out in a minute. That, that bug should have been crushed by now. No, I'm standing the wrong way. This way. So you just jump up and grab that. He can't do too much damage to me, and he's lonesome. And we have very nearly completed the level. A very quick level, as I say. So, you know you're done when you hear the Tomb Raider music. Nothing else to pick up. Just run towards the sunshine. And there we have it. That's uh, the Tomb Raider Times exclusive level. This was released... Uh, in the anniversary of Tutankhamun's tomb discovery. As I say, uh, if you are interested in Egyptology at all like I am, you may want to check out the news revolving around Tutankhamun's tomb presently. And if not, I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.